some of them kiddos. I just had a finishing up my workout. I had a follow-up thought in this previous message that I did for you guys, recorded for you guys, which was develop good thinking habits then choosing your response. Our thinking habits to how we view life in general and then uh, how, we, how we view our challenges, our opportunities and our, and our response to it, which is squarely within our power of, uh, within our circle of uh, of influence, we could do something about it. So just wanted to follow up uh, on these things. Uh, you know, what comes to mind is the, the striking the balance between optimism and pessimism. You know, growing up, you know, my mom passed passing away when I was four years old, dad never being around. If, if not that, not to say that, you know, I had a lot of pessimists around me, but not enough, not enough optimist. But as, as I, I uh, grew up, I got involved in sports and, uh, you know, I learned a few things about myself uh, with sports, you know, competitiveness, drive, passion. You know, I had a few people tell me those things about me that I really believed about myself. So I became an optimist. As I, uh, as life went, had a, uh, somebody pretty close, things didn't work out for him. He took some risks and didn't work out. It made me very cautious. Uh, so not to say that I became a pessimist then, but I became very conservative. And around the same time, I had another friend who was doing the same exact thing as me. And uh, where I was more on the pessimistic side, on the cautious side, or on the conservative side, uh, well, all, all those three things are different. But I'm kind of just lump them all together right now. Uh, you know, I was very slow, whereas my friend, he scaled up very nicely. Well, he's in a different spot. I'm in a different spot. Not to say he's any better or me any worse, but these are two different. Both myself and my friend looked at, had the same idea, the same opportunity. Yet the conversation we had in our head was totally different. His execution, his implementation was much better than mine. Well, today, I uh, can make a different choice, build a better team around myself, and have a different courses of action, different course of action. So strike that balance, kids. I'm not saying that you should be pie in the sky type of a person that you know, and uh, take all types of risks. And yet, at the same time, don't be a pessimist, and don't be around pessimism. You know, and those are the kind of people that I tend to tune out because I have the, enough of that in me to, 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 to slow me down. You know, I gotta, what I'm learning is I gotta let the, you know, take the foot off the brakes a little bit. Uh, you know, the, the, the pessimist is the kind of person that who, who finds faults with, with everything in life. With everything, as opposed to, find, as opposed to finding what's right. So... In summary, how you think about life in general is much more important than how life really is in reality and how we respond to our opportunities and challenges and uh, strike a balance, kiddos, with optimism and pessimism. You know, uh, you know, in our traditions, we find that, you know, even if you know that day of judgment is coming, it's today, plant a tree. So, anyways... That's all for now, kiddos. Love you guys. Assalamu alaikum.